Hello everyone, it's me again, Kathy from The Daily Marker. Welcome to day three of The Daily Marker Coloring Challenge. Today I want to show you, I colored this on the airplane and how I finished it up. So, here we go. I First I trimmed it and then cut out that leaf. Uh, you know, it's not a leaf, but whatever. And I have a memento marker here and I'm just taking that I, I didn't want to show any white edges on my coloring and I'm proceeding to take it around my card just to kind of finish it off and have everything match. I have a Tim Holtz stencil. It does not have the name on it. And then I'm taking some Hero Arts ink. I think it's Butter Bar. I love these little mini inks. And I'm using a dauber. I just wanted to add a little something interesting on the background and I didn't want to have to futz around with different things. So this I love how stencils just can make your art pop and you don't really need to mask stuff off your images that you've colored. So um, you just be mindful of where you're putting it down and where you're putting the ink. But it's pretty easy to control with the dauber. Um, I like to add a little bit more color in the corners and you can see I just move that stencil around to add a little bit more. Now I got these new uh, pencil sharpeners and I should have the links in the uh, description they're fabulous and a sharp pencil makes such a difference so I colored my cute cactuses they're from crafting dessert divas and I colored them with Copic markers and the color just wasn't popping so I thought I've done this before and I know people do it um, so I wanted to add some highlights with my colored pencils so that's what I'm doing. So if you start with a sharp pencil, it's so much easier. You get a much better result, I think. So I have a green, it's nice and sharp. I'm just going around the edges where there might be a shadow, but you know me, I don't care about where that's coming from. I just want one area lighter and one area darker. Now I'm grabbing a gray and I'm picking up, I'm gonna add a little bit more shading on the left side of everything and just proceed to work around that. And while I'm doing this, this is just basic shading. There's no right, there's no wrong. I wanna tell you guys, you are just amazing me with everything you're uploading for the coloring challenge. I'm blown away. And, and Instagram um, shuts me down after commenting for a while and then I have to wait. So that's, that's frustrating. And a lot of you have uploaded on my blog and that takes me longer to get to because my phone's so portable. And I have to remember all my passcodes to Pinterest, Flickr, and all those other things. So I was trying to do that on the airplane and I didn't know all my passcodes and the Wi-Fi was really slow. So I just said, okay, I'm, I'm done, I'm coloring. So be patient with me, it's going to take me a while, and there's so many more entries. Um, I might need to get a little help with some of the commenting, but I don't know, we'll, we'll figure that out. So I picked up a white pencil, and, I'm, and I just switched to gray. So I'm adding some gray to the creases of the hat, and I got my white pencil here again, and I'm just kind of adding that little sweet spot. You know, I always like to go for a white a lighter whitish area. So I'm adding some white on the hat and I'll be doing that on the pots and down the cactus and just you know just have fun with it, experiment. No matter where you put it it's going to make your coloring look better. There's no right or wrong. The most important thing when you're using colored pencils is to have kind of a light grip. Just relax your hand and don't push hard. If you push hard, you kind of get that waxy effect and you can't add any color on top. So if you have a light hand, you can build color. You can add layers of color on top. But if you push down hard, you get that waxy, shiny. It's kind of like a crayon look. but And I do like that look, but you cannot blend or shade or anything. So just keep that in mind. I'm just continuing to work around my image, adding some green, some dark green, some blue, some turquoise. 
just really, it's just so relaxing doing this. Um, I really enjoy it. So I really wanted to share the process. Okay, now I'm grabbing some dark blue and I'm sharpening that. I don't know why they don't make, when you get your pencils, that they aren't nice and sharp like when you sharpen them. But I guess they would probably break and people wouldn't be happy with that. So if you see, I'm adding the dark blue shading on the right and left side of this planter. And it really brings your eye into the middle of the planter. It looks like I spent a lot of time coloring. I, I added a little extra triangular things on the planter here, I think. I don't remember. But, um, and I think I mentioned, I colored this on the airplane and when I take my, I always like to take a few stamps, you probably saw my packing video, because when I'm away, I'll take a little more time to mask off an image and to stamp, and I just think it really makes a great looking one layer card, and it's something you usually don't take the time to do at home. So it's nice to pack those little things and do, I just kind of, work a little differently when I'm away from home. Sometimes I'm restricted like with photos, like my photo yesterday and my video, but um, there's also advantages too. Like if you pack Copics, you're stuck to using those and you come up with better color combinations. I keep waiting for my photos to upload. Um, for the card, I ended up just throwing this on some white cardstock, put a pop of color on the inside, and I used a clearly biscotted, besotted little sentiment. So you might have to go to my blog to see the final card, just add a couple sequins. You can make a one layer card just quick. Slap some foam on, put on some cardstock, and you're done. You don't need to spend a lot of time doing that. Um, so here I'm just adding a little bit of color. I'm just moving around, adding a little this and that. Now, when I use the white pencil, um, it, well, it went on the, some of the black lines and on the mustache, and that bugged me. I'm sure there's another way you can remove it, but it's just, for me, it's just easier to color over it. And I wanted to add a little bit more curl on the mustache. So I did that too. And I'm using, sometimes I use a Copic marker for this. Um, most of the time I use a Sharpie. So I'm just going over where some of the white colored pencil accents were. Um, now I'm going to use my stencil because it's right there. And just be careful, I have to be careful, I don't put my fingers on that yellow ink. And I'm taking the brown that was in this package, and I just want to make a foreground for the cactus. So use any color, whatever you have on hand. Stencils work great with so many different inks. And there was one little areas where the brown wasn't touching the pot. So I just added a little bit more of that. I'm going to add a little bit more shading. Um, boy, can I talk, huh? So, notice that I have white dots here. You can go back over your white dots. They'll make them brighter. You have to wait till they're dry. But do that. You'll get a nice effect. And I always warm it up on my finger. So keep that in mind. You can go back over those white dots. And if you mess it up, go ahead, give it time to cool. And you can correct, correct it that way, way by adding white on top of white. So I'm just adding a little bit more shading with the gray, and I'm just I'm just having a good old time, relaxing, futzing around. I'm happy to be home, and it's just fun to work around the image and add little little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit more color. So I hope you guys were in love with the hop yesterday. It was so much fun seeing what everyone did. I was just 
on cloud nine, looking at everybody's projects and so happy they wanted to play along with the coloring challenge. Now I'm adding some white dots into the little triangles on the hat. And you might notice the fringes I added when I was on the airplane with the 0.03 Copic marker. It would have looked better if I kind of, if I didn't do straight lines, if I did them a little askew and then added a little pom-pom on the bottom. But I didn't do that, so maybe you'll try that. But it's such a super fun set, and they have lots of fun faces and stuff, but I just wanted one cactus. Now, I was just in Arizona, and I'm taking my super fine, and I one of the cactus had these little fine curls coming off the cactus. So that's why I'm adding some little fine curls on the tips of these. Nature is always our inspiration. And I'm just adding a little bit more eyelash lines here and so on and so forth. So click on my blog uh, to see the full card and I'll have the supply list in the description. This was the final coloring and thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you like this. Have a great day. Bye.